Hello, Georgie Burns here. Welcome back. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, it's another thank you card for my family who gave me gifts this Christmas. To make this card I've used, which I haven't used for a while, Good Morning Magnolia for the flowers and the thanks. For this background, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, just I used textured textured essentials, and I used that one. Obviously, I used my um, blends to colour in the flowers. Right, I have got cardstock. A card blank of Sir Saffron at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and I've got a crease corner. I score at four and one eighth folded in half. I have a piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I also have a piece of white at three and a three quarters by five and a half for sitting on the top and a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. And we are going to be stamping on this. Move this. I need this because I'm going to be stamping off the corners. Right, our first bit we'll do is the textured stamp with smoky slate. Just ink that up and we're just going to stamp it from this corner to that corner. Doesn't matter if we're going to go over like that because the flowers will hide it. Now I've got, I just want to make sure that we haven't got a harsh line around there. So that's that one. Just done it from that corner and spread it out a little bit. Right, I've got soft suede here. And our oh, big flower. Now, if you noticed here, I haven't put like the flower on. Oh, it don't fit on this one anyway. Because I don't really want that big leaf. So, I'm not going to use it. It's no use making sure it fits. So, I am going to put the whole flower. Those. I'm going to do it so it runs with the corners like that. And we're going to do the same this corner. Turn that way a bit more, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put my thanks here then. And put that there. There we are. That's our inking done. Now we're going to colour it all in. And we're going to use a rare colours. Well, not a rare colours really. A lot of yellow, uh, soft suede and 
mint macaron dark. We'll do this first, and this is for the leaves. Leaves. We're just gonna. Colour all the leaves in. I chose mint macaron because I didn't want to use old olive oil. Um, what's the other one I normally use? Mossy Meadow. So I thought I'd. Uh, for this colour. Well, there's either this or soft sea foam. And there's a leaf. Is that a leaf or is that a Let me see. No, that's a... That's a petal. So we don't need that. I hope you all had a good Christmas. Had a lovely time. We're now in lockdown, so I managed. I had my youngest daughter over for Christmas Day for dinner, and then in the evening we went to my second middle daughter. For the evening, which we had a good laugh as they're in my bubble. But my youngest daughter now, won't, I won't see her. She won't come near me now, we're in tier four with her being a nurse. That's a leaf. She was supposed to have her injection uh, last week, but she took ill before she got it. So she's got to wait now until she's recovered. Before she can get it done. I think it's next week she's getting it. Not sure. Right. I'm oh, sorry, that was soft suede. Be busy talking. Which I did the middles with. Right now I've got Daffodil Delight Dark and with this one I'm just going in where the leaves are have folded up. They're just going to be my dark bits. Can see where they're actually. What's that? That's it. Right, now I've got So Saffron Dark and I'm just bringing it up from the middle, uh, from the bottom of each petal. I'll get a piece of So Saffron.
and this one the same not being fussy at how it gets done <clears throat> just take a drink right and I've got so soft on light and we're just going to colour in the rest of the petals I'm sure that's a curled up bit there uh, where am I? it is if you go over your dark you'll be able to blend it in as well Just do that fold there. Uh, what one was that? And found a leaf. Trying not to get it on the um, pad. Flowers coloured in. Right, what's that done? And now all we've got to do is put this card together and stick some gems on. So we'll put this on the basic grey, no basic grey, smoky slate and then stick this on 
so saffron. Not very often. I use coloured card bases. I will try and use them more often. She says in the next card I'm going to record is a white card base. Right. Now I'm going to use gold gems for this. And I'm going to stick one in the middle of the flower there, there, two up here, and one down there. And that is our card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.